Good night, Rosh Hashanah. So, uh, that's it. This is it. This is the moment. What is the, uh, yeah, what, what is it? What is it? What is the moment? Just uh, that we uh, built up anticipation, uh, looked forward to something, and now it's here. Right, this is what we're used to. This is what we're used to in slave mode. I'm used to that Pesach was just a, just a build up, clean, clean. And Pesach comes and then we did it. And then Sukkot comes, it's a build up. So it's almost like unconsciously and subconsciously we're doing it from from the build up rather than the connection to it. Because, right, the slave lives in the past and the future. In the past and the future, there is no appreciation of the moment. I'm just doing the past and the future. I'm preparing and I'll, when I'm here, I'm also not in the moment. But we know better now. So what's going on? What's this Rosh Hashanah? What is this? What's this whole... What are we dealing with in, in a little more color? Uh, rather than the coats with the, the Tim Tum and all that good stuff. So... Um, last week was Nitzavim. This week is Vayelach, Parsis Vayelach. We're going to be going the whole week. Nitzavim is... Where we where we stop, we spoke about it. We we stand. We take. We become present. I'm standing. When do I stand? When I'm properly balanced. When I'm focused. When I'm mindful. Then I can stand. Because technically speaking, if I'm not mindful, and going through life is like standing on one leg. Eventually, you're gonna drop, or you're gonna have to keep extreme balance. And the same goes for life. You can have two feet on the ground, but still we're standing on a ball that moved. It's constantly moving. Gagal so you have to be focused, and the only way out is Nitzavim. When you go into Nitzavim, that is Vayelach. That's when we stop walking, we start walking. So what is, what is Rosh Hashanah? So it's important to, 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 to be misbunded in this, to meditate on this, that everything is, the whole year is a destination. The whole year is a journey. The whole year is a journey. Everything I do is for tomorrow, is for, for, for Shabbos, and for, so, and even if I go into the bitter, so I should make a bitter, and I should be mavader, and I should be mavader, and I should go from, from Ra to Toiv, because everything already happened. Remember, time and space is just for our shattered ego that can't process more than a split second at a time. Because if I do process more than that, if I surrender to a minute, then I have to let go of my worries and of my doubt, of my doubt, and the ego doesn't want that. The nachash doesn't want that, because then he's out of business. His existence is in me not being able to live faster than one second at a time. I can't put the picture together even, because everything is just constantly fractured. Because if I saw the bigger picture, then I wouldn't. I would see it already. But so, so we're catching up in time. It started six thousand years ago in time, and now it's like the wheel is spinning, and we're getting to the end. And as we do it, we, we it becomes one with one. As it goes back into into nothing, it's because they have the point. So it keeps expiring, expiring, and goes back into oneness. Until we're at the bottom, bottom, that's going to be Enoid Mavadeh. It's the last, the Ikvus It's the last bit of the consciousness. I want to show us, but in the, in the skin of the low, lowest level of the snake. But tonight is where it all stops. Tonight is where we catch up. Tonight is where I am finally on a landing. I'm, I came to a destination, if that's possible in time and space. Because we know there is no such thing in time and space. In Velt, that there should be arriving to be some, because we have to keep moving. We're Mahalchem, we have to keep moving. Because once again, our ego is enslaved to the Pharaoh, to the Potter, and it keeps moving us. That's how he has us under, under, his, under his spell. My, my worries and all that, sickness, spinning wheels. Tonight is where where it stops. There is symptom. We went through a tremendous archoiser, the squeeze, the pressure and everything. And tonight is where I step in to this is it. This is what I'm doing it for. And I have a chance. The more I step in and dive into that moment, I dive in to be present at that moment. The, the more I'm expanding and I can take back with me when the wave is going to start again. A lighter one, because we're doing bitter already. Yibala Mavis is happening. 
So no longer are we just shuffling water from one side to the other. Now it's already, we can see, right? As the Rebbe said, like this is it, the time, it, it started already. And now it's actually playing out. Like what the Rebbe said, it's actually hammering home harder because it's becoming the Archoizer. It has to come meet a lower level, a lower frequency of consciousness. So it has to come out physical. Why does it have to do that? Because he spoke 30 years ago to a higher consciousness and we couldn't, we couldn't catch up to it. We just couldn't grasp our brains around it. We were too struck by the light and we didn't understand it. We were just looking. At least this time we didn't say, you know, stop, it's too much, right, type of thing. Let's not get carried away. Everybody, the way they understand this, right? Um, fine. So, 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 what's so what's the story? So, how do we do this? How do I dive into the moment? By Nitzavim. What is Nitzavim? Nitzavim is Netzach. Very powerful. Very powerful. We we, we don't pay enough attention to the Netzach. Netzach is lo yishake. And happens just to be happens to be is Netzavim. I think I did it right. Netzavim and Netzach, Gematria, the same thing. Netzavim, Netzach is uh, um, Netzach, and then you have Netzavim, you have Nun Tzadik once again, and the base is uh, uh, the base is, is two, the Yud is one, the Mem is four, and then with Misper Katan, it's uh, Gematria Netzach, which is uh, 90, 100, 120, 128, right? No, I'm sorry. And the, all right, I'm off. Whatever, whatever the number is, it matches. It's Netzach. So with Netzach, how do I do Netzach? Because when when Yaakov came uh, around from Iran, when he left Lavan, he bumped into Sarah Shel Esav, and they had it out. And Alisha Shach, he got, he hit him, and hit him where in the Netzach. Yaakov he was he was gehinket, he was limping. So what does that mean in, in the world? It means that it means this consciousness that we took a hit. We took a, we took a, a zet, it's okay. Is that that all you got? We'll give that a bit or two. Because that's what we're dealing with. But that where is the bracha in that? Where is the archoizer in that that the Malach was able to hit him? He thinks Yaakov Ishtam. He didn't get away with it. It was Cheshboin is there, otherwise he wouldn't win because Choshech cannot damage Oyer. It's nothing, unless Oyer has something to gain from it. Because Allah said, everything is Latoyer. Especially Yaakov Amina would have, would have finished the job. But by Netzach taking a hit, now it can Archoizer into a more powerful Netzach because this whole new gender, this whole thing is, is working with Netzach, standing up, Claudius is standing up again, there's, there's a lot of pride, the youth, the new generation, they're, they're, they're whole different, they're, they're, they're big, they have a glow, they have confidence, they don't have the trauma, right, we talk to them, whoever's in the work, we talk to them, we see it's a different ballgame, they just need to be activated, so Baruch Hashem, that is the Netzach, and when my pride took a hit, I wouldn't be able to handle any other. If my pride was still fresh, my netzach. Once you once you you you, you corrupt netzach, it's it's another form of molestation. Belittle somebody, degrade somebody. You think you're proud? You're proud? You're you're invincible? No, you're not. It, we would never be able to get up. But because we took a hit, because we've been through our goals, we've been through our 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 choyzer, Now, when such a hit comes, we are shining. We stand. We're standing up. Look what's going on, all over the world. Proud Jews, proud dancing and, and, and full of color. Then comes going to be Simchas Be'es Sheva. We're talking about a lot of a lot of Netzach. And this is what Yaakov Vina did for us when he took it. He took one, and it was Archoizid, and now we, we can stand up to it. So we have to tap in in this moment when there's the moment of truth in Atam Netzavim. When you stand, when you get present with the moment, that is done with Netzach, that's done with pride. And then from that place is Vayelech. Vayelech, Moshe, Vadabash Adwar Meilech, El Kol Yisrael. And Rashi says in this, 
would you think that he got weak? Says no. Like his eyes were fresh, like like the first day of birth. They took away my permission. Not that I can't. I have no permission. There's no more boundaries. He's already, once he step into Nitzavim, you're there. Once you step into Nitzavim, once you stand into the present moment, then it's Vayelech. It's, 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 it's your one with one. It's everything is, you know, there's no Rishus anymore. The, the, the Gashmis, the Teva becomes Beli Teva. You can turn Teva into Beli Teva just by, by powerful activating the mind of the Netzach Yisrael, the pride. Yes, I could. Yes, I can. Yes, I am in control. No, I don't want to do this. I don't do that either. Whatever that is. With pride. But but for now, we're talking about positive thinking. Changing my life by just manifesting the words. That's what we're talking about. So if you're present in the moment, and you, and you have reasonable... Uh, not reasonable, you have a, a light request light intention then you're aligning with the light intention then you're invincible so it should be a, a very a powerful yom to first of all we should step into Rosh Hashanah tonight mindful present all I need is my sword my pride and I just need my happiness my simcha and I'm good whatever goes on around me is my archazi takes too long, takes too short. Okay. Where am I in all this? And sometimes, okay, look. I'm just, I, I just love to cry. I need to complain. That too. But let's keep our chazering it back to Netzach and back to being in the moment. And then we are in the Emuna. That's, that's the Emuna. If I believe, if I believe in my, in my, in my Machshava. If my Machshava is Betahar and I believe in my Machshava. And I think it it will happen if I believe. As much as I believe, that's as much as it's going to manifest. So the first thing we spoke about is the ABC. We're not asking for anything. We're just asking for for Chavas Adas and Menuchas Hanefesh. I'm, I'm asking for to have my proper Das or Chavas Adas. I should be able to have proper Das. If I have Das, Shleim HaMelech, let's say Das. I see everything for what it is. I don't get caught up into it. And the Menuchas HaNefesh means that I'm, I'm, I'm in earning all day. I have Menuchas HaNefesh. When my, when my, all we need, I need is my, my Nefesh, my, my body, my, my soul to be, to be in Menuchah. That's all it is. But instead I'm chasing and I'm finding. So it comes to me with that same chase. And then I'm not in Menuchah. So I'm chasing Menuchah, but really I'm spinning. So just, you don't have to ask for nothing. You don't have to put in any spin in the OCS, any spin in the lettuce to minimize it. That's why we blow the shofar. It's kol pashit. How are we going to communicate with, kol, with something that's tachas is? You're going to sit, tell them, tell them an aleph. You're going to tell them ah. You're going to tell them ooh. I want my 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 panasa. I want my success. I want my this. Who asked you? Who? It's way bigger than that. Let me do my thing. Let me just be, just surrender, and let me do my thing. So I'll show you. So when we go in to ask, that's all I ask for. I ask for Menuch Sanafesh and Rechava Sadas. And when I have that, I step into my ear and I'm, I'm, I'm the boss. I think, I, I manifest, I make it happen with confidence, with Netzach, with Amunah. So this is the bracha for, for me, for, for, for us as the ones that we're doing the work together. Um, it should be a, a year that we should get real our netzah that took a hit should should be healed. It is, and we should step in to have our back straight, my spine straight, so I'm in proper flow. I'm not a slave anymore. I stand up straight. I take my time. I take my time meaning like I'm present. That's what I mean by taking my time. Now that I'm crossing the street slowly, so all the cars are waiting. It's not what I'm talking about, but... Yeah. All right. Have an awesome year. Fine.